Welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about NFT games. So if you like NFT games, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. And the more the channel grows, the more I can give away. Speaking of which, I am giving away one entire soul token to my subscribers. If you want to find out how to win, be sure to stay until the end of the video. Also, I'm not a financial advisor. Just because I talk about a project, just because it sounds like I like a project, it doesn't mean that I'm buying it and it doesn't mean that you should buy it before doing your own research. So hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So the first game on our list is going to be Pepper Attack. So Pepper Attack is an upcoming RPG game and it's gonna have everything from leveling up to in-game items, battles, PVP, trading, buying and selling with other players. You're gonna be able to mine and it's going to be play to earn. So you're gonna be able to make money by playing this game. So while there is not a video demo yet, if you go to the gameplay page, you're gonna be able to see some images of the characters, their stats, some items, and the UI. So if we look here, you have some characters, and if we click the different ones, you're gonna see they have different classes based on pepper names. So Habanero, Bell, there's Ghost, there's Chili. And when we click between them, you're gonna see the base stats change. So this one is a tank. This one is more evasive and defensive. The Reaper has a higher crit and a high attack. So it seems like there are gonna be five different classes available in this game. Next, they show power. So there's gonna be base stats. Some peppers are born natural fighters. Peppers with higher base stats have more potential to increase their powers. Base stats range from 100 to 99. The higher the stats, the more potential that pepper can be effective in combat. So if we go check the ones that are already on OpenSea, and if you click properties, so this one is a bell pepper, and you can see its stats. It has an attack of 34, a crit of 18, defense of 84. Then if we click this one, which is also a bell pepper, it has a different attack, different crit, different defense. So all 10,000 are gonna have different sets of base stats. Next, there's gonna be genius points, which is gonna affect how you level up. And finally, there's gonna be power, which is gonna determine the effectiveness of your pepper during combat. They then show us some items. Of course, there's gonna be potions for your health, stamina, which is gonna allow you to keep fighting even longer. Some boosters, backpack, increase your inventory. Golden Horn is gonna be used during the PVP mode. It's gonna allow you to play an extra round. The Hero Invitation, which is gonna be for their Black Rock Battle. And both of these modes, the PVP mode and the Black Rock Battle, those are only expected to come out in Q4 of 2022. There's gonna be a spell book and finally a treasure key. Players are gonna be able to trade, buy and sell items with each other in exchange for the in-game currency, which is going to be the Might token. So as I said, some of these are only going to be available in one year's time so keep that in mind when you are investing in this project that the game is going to be arriving in stages and the first stage which was voted on by the community is going to be mining so this game is going to be play to earn for everyone but there is going to be mining which is only available for those who purchased the previous mystic peppers and the upcoming sale of mystic peppers so unless you purchase a mystic pepper you are not going to be able to make money by mining you're only going to be able to do it by playing the game now keep in mind when you do mine that pepper is not going to be usable in game so if you want to mine while playing the game it's probably better for you to pick up multiple peppers and if you're interested in the pvp mode again which only comes out q4 of 2022 you are going to need five peppers minimum next we get a look at their adventure mode which is going to become available in q1 of 2022 and we also get a look at their interface so here you can see the shop the peppers inventory and there's also going to be weekly challenges i assume the rewards are either going to be in-game items or their might token and following that we get an idea of how this game is going to be played so each pepper is going to have stamina and when they run out of stamina you could either give them a stamina potion or they're going to return to pepperland where you're going to have to wait a set period of time before you can use them again now the same thing is going to happen when you battle against monsters if your pepper runs out of hp or stamina they will be returned to pepperland where you're going to have to wait a set period of time before you can use them so next they show us rankings which are only going to be available in q2 of 2022 and you can see there's going to be three different type of contests where you could win different prizes i assume it's going to be potions items or relics and the might token next they talk a little bit about the pepper arena which as i said you're going to need at least five peppers to compete in it and this is going to be their pvp mode and finally there's going to be a special black rock mode where you're going to need a hero invitation and if you are in the top 1000 you are going to get free stuff so both the black rock mode and the pepper arena mode are not expected to arrive until q4 of 2022 so the sale is going to be happening on september 17th at 9 a.m pst and each pepper is going to be 0.07 ethereum so if you like pepper attack and you want to check it out use my referral link in the description down below and i will get free 
Mike tokens. Also, the team over at Pepper Attack were kind enough to give me one free Mystic Pepper in exchange for giving my honest opinion about their upcoming game. So if you like what you see, be sure to check them out. So the next project on our list is going to be Averick Saga. So I stumbled across this project after a request from a viewer, and it is still very early in the development. We don't have too much information, but I thought I would mention it because they are having their early access pre-sale event and i know you love your pre-sales so let's take a dive into this project so there are going to be 8888 different nfts and there are going to be four different factions now within these factions there's going to be different characters you have knights you have wizards and you have marksmen so if we click here we can see the different rarity levels as well as the percentages now i do not like their roadmap the roadmap is extremely weak they don't tell you anything they pretty much say after they sold 100 they're going to start game development however i reached out to the team which i suggest you always do if you have questions reach out to the team so i reached out to them and they told me they've already started development and now a lot of projects have anonymous teams i was happy to see here that they are not anonymous so if we check this person's profile they're fully public they've founded different companies they have 50,000 followers kevin as well a lot of followers a entrepreneur singer npt enthusiast forbes asia 30 under 30 prestige 40 under 40 so it does seem like the team has reputable people backing it and they are quite a large team my issue with it though i didn't see any game developers so i that was a red flag for me so i reached out to them i asked them and they haven't released this information yet so they weren't willing to tell me with who but they claim that they will release it soon and that they've partnered with a big gaming company in order to make this project come to fruition so if you go on medium you get a little bit of backstory you could find out about the game about each character but you can also find out about their early access their pre-sale so it's going to be ending next week so if you want to get into it i suggest you start now it's going to be your typical level up in the discord interact with other people and they're going to be allowing early accessors to buy 2700 of the 8888 nfts so as i said they're going to be building a game and i couldn't find any information on their website other than the last piece of the roadmap telling me that this was going to be a game but in their discord at least you get this small description letting you know that it's going to be a game and when i asked them what type of game they said it's going to be similar to axie infinity now their discord has 13,000 members but i did notice that you were able to choose a faction and only one third of the members have chosen a faction so i guess that means only one third of the discord members are actually active but perhaps in the coming weeks when they release more information about who this big game developer is what the game is going to be like maybe we're going to get a demo maybe then they will pick up a bit of steam, get some more traction. As we saw, a lot of the people partnered with this project, they have a large following on their social media. So I'm sure if they start to actively post about the project, then maybe it will get more traction. So keep an eye out for this one. Don't commit to it, but if you want to get early access to something, if you like the art, because I do like the art, and if you're intrigued by a game like Axie Infinity that has knights, archers, and mages, then maybe this is going to be a game for you. The final project on our list, which is viewer requested, well, multiple viewers requested this, is going to be One Shogun. Now, One Shogun is going to be a play-to-earn NFT game, and they describe it as a mix between Hearthstone and Heroes of Might and Magic, which is a turn-based strategy game now they intend to build both a trading platform and a game there's no demo there's nothing about the game they don't have a white paper about the game they don't go into detail about anything they do have a they they really take pride in their roadmap i don't know why so everything on the left here is the typical giveaways which in my opinion should not be in a roadmap and then on the right side here that's where you get the stuff that you're going to actually care about they claim they're going to launch their shogun token on binance in november december in december they're going to launch a web-based game portal they're going to launch an in-game trading post and market finally in may of 2022 the shogun i assume the holders they're going to be able to play the beta and there's going to be a playable demo launched and then finally, in summer of 2022, they're going to be launching their official game. If you hop on into the Discord, you're going to get a much better view at the art. And I really like some of this art. It looks really good. However, for me, there are quite a lot of red flags. The typical ones are going to be anonymous founders. With any anonymous team project, always really do your due diligence. And I would go and talk to each one of these founders. If you hover their role, you're gonna see community manager or marketing or whatever it is. And I would talk to that person, click them, try to message them. If they have private messages, just tag them here or tag a mod and say, hey, how do I talk to this person? I wanna give you guys my money. Is there a way you can answer my questions? And I mean, don't annoy them, they're very busy. But if, if you can't find an answer to a question, 
they should provide that answer. And if they can't, don't give them your money. There's plenty of other opportunities. There's dozens of NFT projects launching every single day. So you don't have to give your money to one project just because you made pre-sale doesn't mean you have to buy that project. And I understand it sucks when you dedicate time to something, but it's better than losing your money, right? It's better than getting rugged. So back to the red flags for Shogun. So first they address the fact that they're anonymous and they say they are either high ups in technology firms or they've sold and exited their startups. So I guess they're saying they're known figures in Singapore and Indonesia and they don't want to reveal that it's them. I don't know, to me that makes no sense. If you were to put your face on a project the same way Averick is, like the only reason I'm giving Averick a fighting chance is because all 12 or 13 or whatever people involved in the project, they're all fully public. But here they're saying, hey, we're all super successful so we don't want to reveal who we are but that would just give more backing to this project. The other thing, they really seem to pride themselves on their roadmap, but anybody can write down dates. I can tell you I'm launching an NFT project, guys, and by May 2022, I'm going to have a full game on the Xbox. And just the way they describe it, they're like, hey, our concept is very unique. Nobody else does that. Isn't this the right business opportunity to dive deep down and capitalize on the gaming market? Are we just selling art and planning to disappear? This does not make business sense at all. I disagree. If you want to make a game, you're going to have to spend a lot of the money you made from this project selling NFTs of digital art on developing the game. Whereas if you just rug pull and you take the 4.5 mil, because these are going for 0.1 Ethereum and there's going to be 10,000 of them, that's currently 4.5 million. If you just rug, that's the best business decision because you're anonymous and you just made 4.5 mil. But the thing that really did it for me was this question here. Has development started yet? I've seen other projects that say the games will be launched within the next three months after sold. It seems pretty unrealistic. Your roadmap projections to release by next summer is realistic and I like it. Like, is this a question? It's kind of like they're, they're, they're patting themselves on the back. It's like when Dwight shot the gun in the office and then he was asking questions to make himself seem better. That's exactly what this reminds me of. The next red flag for me is they have 22,000 members. And when I counted here, I scrolled through the whole thing. They had roughly 3,000 people that were online and active. So maybe it's just a time of day thing. Maybe a lot of their followers are in Asia when I counted. So different clock, they were all sleeping. But to me, the engagement just isn't here. Now the final red flag for me was that they're allowing you to mint 25. That is absolutely insane. You have 22,000 people in your Discord. You're only selling 10,000 and you're letting people mint 25. To me, letting people mint above five is a pretty big red flag. Above 10, I don't like that at all, which was Soldiers of the Metaverse. That's what they, they did in the pre-sale. And then their main sale, they did 20. But 25, come on, are you trying to build a community or are you just trying to make money? Now, on the other hand, maybe buying one and trying to flip it isn't a bad idea. So if there's a pre-sale, if you made pre-sale for this, and if it's over a two day period, I would wait one day, let some of them hit OpenSea and look at the price. So if they're going for over 0.3 Ethereum, yeah, I would, I would potentially pick one up and then immediately flip it. Do not wait for reveal, immediately flip it and you make a two, three X. So I don't want to flood this project. This is my opinion. I might be totally wrong, but I would not put money into this project. There are too many red flags for me. That's it for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. And the more the channel grows, the more I can give away. Speaking of which, I'm giving away one entire soul token to my subscribers. All you have to do, hit that subscribe button, head on over to Twitter, follow me, retweet, tag one friend in the comments, and then boom, you are entered to win one entire soul token. It's coming up soon. I'm about to hit 4,000 subscribers. It's going really fast. Thank you so much for the support. I have so many nice comments in the comment sections to my videos. There's also a bunch of bots down there trying to scam you. Be careful, do not fall for a scam. If you wanna talk about NFTs, if you need help with something, if you wanna talk about crypto, join the Discord. We would love to have you there. Please don't join it and immediately start spamming links for invites. If you wanna buy crypto in Canada, be sure to use my referral links in the description down below and you will get free money when you make your first trade. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.